Hey everybody. So theoretically this video is for students in my English 112 classes because students in my English 112 classes are about to submit thesis statements related to their argumentative research essays that we've been working on like all semester long now or almost all semester. But honestly, <laughs> this advice is so important and so frequently forgotten that I often find myself like just overcome with the desire to like tackle people on the street and tell them this good advice. I don't do it, but I it's really hard on me. Anyway, this is, I mean, there are lots of approaches to a good thesis statement and it needs to be a debatable claim and it needs to be something that is narrow enough that you can tackle it in the space that your essay is going to, you know, like the length of projects that you're working on. And it needs to be something that you actually can find an answer to because your essay, you, normally your thesis statement is the answer to, uh, to some kind of question and then your essay is going to support that thesis statement and show why it's the best answer to that question, right? But your thesis statement isn't, and this is like the thing that I keep wanting to tell people, the thing that your st thesis statement isn't ever is a claim about what you think or what you believe. And by that I mean the words I believe or the words I think or the words in my opinion or the words I feel cannot be in your thesis statement. Because your thesis statement is a claim about something out here in the real world that you're going to prove in your essay. I don't care what the thing is. I don't care if it's a literary paper, a historical paper, a paper like unpacking the results of an experiment. Your thesis statement is a claim that your essay will prove. And there is absolutely no reason on this earth why your essay would ever need to prove that you mean it when you say you feel like X, or that you believe Y, or that you think such and such. You don't need to prove to us that you think it. Like, that's not the, your thesis statement. If you say in this sentence that is supposed to be your thesis statement, if you say, I think the best strategy for combating, I don't know, uh, clogged sewage pipes is blah, blah, blah. You have set yourself up to write an entire paper proving that you think something. You don't want to write a paper proving that you think anything. You want to write a paper proving that the thing that you think is actually right. <laughs> okay? You don't want to prove that you think the best way of combating clogged sewer pipes is outlawing the little wet white things. You want to prove that that's actually a workable plan. Not that you think it. Don't say... I think, or I believe, or I feel, or in my opinion, in your thesis statement. At no point do you need to write an essay that will ever prove that you think something. Okay? You don't need to prove that you think it. You need to prove that it's true. <laughs> um, that seems small, but over and over and over again I see this. No matter how, like... We spend a lot of time on thesis statements um, as we draft essays and revise essays, and I spend a lot of time asking, okay, what is the thesis that you are proving? The absolute most common error that I see in thesis statements is that the writer, is, the writer sets up the claim, sets up the thesis statement to be not about facts or plausible interpretations or the case they're going to make, but about their thoughts and feelings. We don't need to prove that you feel blah, blah, blah. We don't need to prove that you think so-and-so. At some level, we'll, you can never prove that because it's all in your head and it's always going to be in your head. Your thesis statement can't be about what's in your head. Your thesis statement has got to be about what's actually happening in the real world or in the literary text that you are analyzing or wherever, but not in your head. Your thesis statement can't be about inner experience and what's happening in here. Your thesis statement has to be about what's happening out there. Now it's true probably that you think whatever the, you think whatever is in your thesis statement, right? Like whatever you say in your thesis statement probably is something that you think. 
But the fact that you think it is not a claim that you need to make. You just need to make the claim and back it up. The fact that you think it can't be your thesis statement. I'm going to say it again. The thesis statement has got to be the claim that you're going to prove. Don't make a claim about what you think. Your claim can't be, I think that. We don't need you to prove that you think something. We need you to prove that the thing you think is actually accurate. In which case, we don't really care whether you think it or not. We just care whether you've made your case. Put the focus out in the world where it belongs, not in your head where it doesn't. I could say this like 14 more times, and I kind of want to, <laughs> because this really does happen a lot. Um, but I'm going to leave it here for now. And if you have questions or you would like to go ahead and start uh, workshopping and troubleshooting your thesis statements that are, if you're in my 112 class are going to be due in just a few days now, please feel free to leave a comment and, you know, like we can, we can get the ball rolling there even before I like open up submissions and stuff in Canvas, okay? Like you don't have to wait for the starting gun or whatever. Um, but either way, your thesis statement is not about what's in here. It's about what's out there. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.